Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up and welcome back to the channel and another MK11 discussion video. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to help out the channel. And also, don't forget to hit that like button, it helps out the channel a lot too. And leave me your comments down below, let me know what you want me to talk about, whether it could be characters that are coming, topics, etc. I love doing suggested videos, so make sure you leave them for me. And also, don't forget about the giveaway we have going on here, more at the end of the video about that and my Patreon. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So today, I have a fresh new leak for you guys. Uh, it's kind of been like a dry spell for MK11 leaks or news or really anything to do with MK11. It's getting around that time where shit's just kind of drying up and we're not getting much news, much information. So the uh, leakers, with big quotation marks there, are getting very creative in what they're doing. Now, this leak was sent to me by o OU Window. I still don't know how to say your name, or Basket Games on YouTube. So I appreciate it, brother. So what we're going to do uh, in this video today is break down this leak. I'm going to throw it up on the screen right now. We're going to go through it and everything that it shows, which, I mean, isn't much, just characters. So we're going to go through it and break it down, and I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So the first thing I will say is these leakers are getting really creative. Like, they went through a lot of Photoshop to get this shit done, but there are some kind of clear, clear things that point in one direction or the other to whether this is fake or real. So we'll go ahead and go over the characters that are in it. And that is Sector, Melina, Rambo, Ermac, Smoke, and Ash. Ash Williams. So already, the characters, I mean, that's kind of like a dream combat pack too. That's like the combat pack too that we want. We want Ash Williams, we want Smoke, we want Ermac, we want Sector, we want Melina. Rambo, I don't know who the hell wants him, but I'm sure someone does, so we want Rambo. Um, so it's kind of like a dream combat pack. A lot of people want Melina back, a lot of people want, I want Smoke back, a lot of people want Armac back, a lot of people want Smoke back, I want Smoke back. And so it's kind of like a dream combat pack, and when it comes down to that, that being, here's what you gotta think about, guys. The, the developers are not on the same level that we're on of wanting these characters back. They have their own separate plan. So seeing these characters that are like the most requested characters in the community are usually a clear giveaway on whether a leak is fake or real. The developers usually have surprise characters and characters that you wouldn't expect coming back. They usually have that shit planned out. They have a surprise planned out. They want to surprise us with what characters they're going to add. They just don't want to be copy and paste generic like someone can leak it and it ends up being 100% true, you know, a fake leak can get it right. So, I believe these dream combat pack leaks that we're seeing of Sector, Melina, Rambo, Ashwood, and Smoking Ermac, I believe they're a little bit too good to be true at this point. I believe we're probably going to get a curveball of some kind when it comes to combat pack 2. I don't mean every character won't that we see here won't be in it. I don't mean that Sector and Ermac and Smoke and Melina won't be in it. I'm just saying there's probably going to be a couple of surprise characters instead of a couple of those characters. Now, Ash Williams, of course, as we already know, has fallen through on pretty much every level that's been confirmed, so I don't really know how I feel about that one. Ash Williams has been not really talked about. Uh, his game data files are actually completely gone, so he hasn't been talked about. He's not in the game files anymore. That leads me to believe that that whole deal completely fell through. So we're still seeing Ash in these leaks, and that's kind of like another clear giveaway. I think if they're gonna come to a deal for Ash Williams, it'll probably be in the final combat pack or in the final pack, whatever it ends up being. He'll probably be a character in that. I don't think we're going to see him at all in combat pack 2. I don't even think they're removing him out of the game files just to subvert us or throw us off. I think he is just not coming in combat pack 2. Now, Rambo is one of those where he is an 80s action hero character like they've been going for in the combat packs with Terminator and Robocop. So that one's not really... I don't really disbelieve the leak because Rambo's in it, it makes a lot of sense with the, the theme they've been going for in Mortal Kombat 11 with Robocop and Terminator, so it does make sense when it comes to that character. So I don't think that disproves the leak. I don't think any of the characters really disprove the leak. I think the way the leak is made disproves the leak. Uh, if you guys didn't know, someone went and made a bunch of stock things for people to make fake leaks for MK11 since, I mean, I guess it was a good meme to be able to do that. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of leaks like this and a lot of leaks with just, like, character photos and the names in them. You're going to be a, you're going to be seeing a lot of these over the next coming little bit um, before we get Combat Pack 2 because someone did do that and there are people out there making these fake leaks to get people hyped. Now, I do believe this is one of those fake leaks because at this point, I do believe what a lot of people 
people are saying at this point. I, I mean, not a lot, but a lot of the community mem community members who, you know, are actually putting some thought into it. I believe the main thing that disproves this leak is actually the characters in it. It's really a combat pack that is way too good to be true. Netherrealm has had a history of liking to, liking to subvert our expectations and throw curveballs at us. Uh, hence why we got Shiva and Fusion. Hence why we got fucking Robocop and Spawn Joker in the game. And Injustice 2, it was Hellboy. Characters like that. They like to subvert our expectations. So I don't think we're going to have a clear-cut copy and paste of, you know, the leaks that we're seeing coming out with these stream combat packs of Sector, Molina, Ermac, and Smoke, and Ash Williams. I just don't think that that's realistic at this point because they do like to subvert our expectations. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this leak as fake. I hate to do it because uh, I know some people maybe have seen this leak and they're believing it. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, the guys who watch my channel, the guys who look at my videos about the leaks, uh, don't believe this leak. I do believe this one to be 100% fake. It is a very interesting leak, and it is a very well-made leak, but as I said, the fantasy combat pack that we've gotten in here, I think just disproves it, because I think they're going to subvert our expectations the same way they did with Robocop. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, because I mean, this is a very well-made leak. Um, at the same time, I mean, it's, it's very, very well made. It looks like it is legitimately in the game. It looks like the characters and everything else, the character profiles, the character traits, uh, you know, the uh, outlines of them, it looks like they're actually in the game. So that really, really, like, threw me off a little bit when I was looking at it. But at the same time, like I said, Photoshop's a hell of a thing, and people can do things like this. So uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think about this guy's list, pretty much, for characters. Uh, and let's go ahead and talk about this giveaway real quick. So the giveaway we have going on is a giveaway for a whole ass aftermath, MK. 11 aftermath all you have to do to enter that giveaway is go to the link in the description below to the video for the giveaway and it will tell you every way you can enter for the giveaway and also guys don't forget about my patreon if you guys do want to help out the channel in a bigger and better way you can go over to my patreon and support on there from anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars every dollar we get on there is going towards a new computer so i can get rid of this microwave that i have and actually get a good computer for editing and everything else that i need to do and streaming and all of that so if you guys can help like that i would really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart but it is not required once again but that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video again let me know what you guys think about it in the description or not in the description in the comments down below let me know what you think about this leak and also guys don't forget to like the video it helps out the channel a lot and subscribe to the channel that helps out the channel even more but my name is tootin hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace out